Uh, welcome to Easy Alim Learning Simplified. My name is Ruth and today we are going to be discussing on acids, bases and indicators and we are going to be looking at some of the properties of acids. We said acids usually react with metals to form salt and hydrogen gas and also acids can react with bases to form salt and water. And we called that reaction neutralization reaction because it was forming neutral product, which are the salt and water. And we said that in this reaction, for example, when you're reacting bases with hydroxides, we use a phenolphthalein indicator, which helps us to tell uh, when the reaction is complete because a uh, basic solution turn pink in phenolphthalein and then in acidic condition in neutral, the uh, condition they turn uh, colorless. So when the reaction is complete or when the neutral products are formed, the phenolphthalein indicator will turn from pink to colorless. So let's look at uh, more reactions of acids and uh, bases. But in this case, we are going to see at uh, acids with carbonates and hydrogen carbonates. So um, acids usually react with carbonates and hydrogen carbonates to produce a salt, uh, water and carbon dioxide or carbon dioxide. So you can see the products are the same uh, if you use carbonates and the products are still the same if you use hydrogen carbonates. There's going to be a salt which is the derivative of the acid. We have water and we have carbon dioxide. So when you look at this reaction, uh, for example, the general equation is going to be uh, the same in both as a uh, reaction of acids with carbonate and hydrogen carbonate. So an example is when you react sodium carbonate with hydrochloric acid. So you will notice uh, in this reaction, you're going to see some effervescence. Uh, so there's production of bubbles and these bubbles are collected on this delivery tube. And this delivery tube is connected to another test tube containing uh, lime water. This lime water helps to test the presence of the carbon dioxide that is being produced. We also call it calcium hydroxide. It's the other name of lime water. So when the effervescence happens and the bubbles are uh, directed to the lime water, after some time, the lime water is going to turn to a white precipitate. The reason why it turns into a white precipitate is because there is production of carbon dioxide. We say that carbon dioxide reacts with calcium hydroxide to form calcium carbonate. Uh, this calcium carbonate is the one that is usually a white precipitate or is the one that makes the lime water to be uh, white in color. So that is the reaction between sodium carbonate and sodium hydroxide, so, um, sodium carbonate and hydrochloric acid. So other examples, are, we can use examples like sodium carbonate, calcium carbonate, and copper carbonate with other acids. So let's start with sodium carbonate, maybe with uh, sulfuric acid. So when sodium carbonate reacts with sulfuric acid, it forms sodium sulfate, uh, water, and carbon dioxide. Uh, when we react calcium carbonate, we can use uh, nitric acid. And when calcium carbonate reacts with nitric acid, it forms calcium nitrate, water, and carbon dioxide. For the copper carbonate, we can use uh, hydrochloric acid. So when copper carbonate reacts with hydrochloric acid, it forms copper chloride, water, and carbon dioxide. So you can try other carbonates uh, like um, by yourself and you react them with other acids and then you practice on writing these word equations. It is going to help us later on when we start writing the chemical equation. The hydrogen carbonates behave in the same manner. So let's do a few examples of hydrogen carbonate. Uh, for example, we can start with copper hydrogen carbonate and react it with sulfuric acid. Uh, so copper hydrogen carbonate will react with sulfuric acid to form copper sulfate, uh, water and carbon dioxide. Uh, let's do one example. We can use magnesium hydrogen carbonate with hydrochloric acid. 
So magnesium carbonates react with hydrochloric acid to form magnesium chloride, water, and carbon dioxide. So you can practice more examples on your own and uh, be able to see the products that are being formed and especially the salt from the, the, um, the acid derivative. So uh, we're going to look at a few more questions in regards to what we have been discussing so that we can solidify what we have been discussing. So let's look at this question. Um, so the question is complete the following. So you are supposed to complete this general equation with the product. So acid plus metal, acid plus bases, acids plus carbonates. So we will start with acids plus metal. We say that acids react with metals to form salt and hydrogen gas. And this hydrogen gas can be tested by introducing a burning splint, which burns the a pop sound. The salt uh, derives from the acid. So the general equation is acid plus metal is equal to salt plus hydrogen gas. The next question is acid and bases. We said when acids and bases react, they form salt and water, which is also referred to as neutralization reaction. Neutralization reaction because this process produces neutral products. These neutral products, you know, we can tell uh, neutral products using uh, indicators, and the most indicator, common indicator we use in this reaction is phenolphthalein indicator. But we only use it when we are reacting the hydroxides, which are in solution state, with the acid. So it can enable us to know the endpoint. Because without it, otherwise, we would not be able to tell the reaction is complete. For the oxides, which are also bases, we do not need to use the uh, indicator because the oxides are in solid state. We are going to see effervescence in the reaction. It is, it is uh, more visible in uh, comparison to when you are reacting uh, with the hydroxides, which are in solution state. So the uh, general equation is going to be acid plus bases, which will form salt and water. And then finally, acids plus carbonate. We say that acids plus carbonate produce uh, salt, water, and carbon dioxide, which is a similar reaction to when the acids react with hydrogen carbonates. They also produce salt, water, and hydrogen gas. And we said some of the observations is effervescence of a colorless gas. And this colorless gas is bubbled through a lime water. When it's bubbled through lime water, it turns to a white precipitate. Lime water is also referred to as calcium hydroxide. So when calcium hydroxide reacts with carbon dioxide, it forms calcium carbonate. This calcium carbonate is the one that is in a white precipitate. That is the one that confirms that the carbon dioxide is being produced. So in ether reactions of acids and carbonates and acids and hydrogen carbonate, the product will always be the same. So those are the three reactions. Although we didn't put all the reactions, including the oxides uh, uh, in this, um, the hydrogen carbonate as well, and the oxides. Uh, but those are the three general reactions. Make sure you're able to remember them, and you can also give examples for this kind of reactions for each and every one of them. So this brings us to the end of the session. In the, last session, in the next session, we're going to be discussing on on some of the applications of acids and bases and then we're also going to dive deep into some questions that are commonly tested in the exam so i'll uh, see you in the next session